Greetings, beautiful beings. Thank you for joining me on a journey of transformation from the three-dimensional survival body in the fifth dimensional evolving beautiful amazing body that is still thriving in the human world or in the world of the earth right so tomorrow is the new moon and is new manifesting energies so let's let a bit let's look a little bit at where we are what is happening and what should we focus for the next two weeks so you may feel tired I definitely feeling tired maybe because it is evening but gosh I do feel tired there's a chaos going in a life right for many of you uh, there are odd and uh, almost weird things happening and there are beautiful synchronicities that many of you started to noticing as well that is actually a very good sign very exciting sign so let's first address the chaos and the weird stuff so we know the saying that every change is preceded with chaos it is a, i think probably the law of the physics or the normal kind of the thing let's start look at the things as a normal kind of the things when there is a you know these uncontrolled situations happening in your life that gives you a beautiful opportunity for change now, when you want to change, you have to notice your action and reaction process. Because if you're going to continue in the same action and reaction as you've done before and before and before, you are just, you know, going to make a little jump and you're going to end up eventually where you have begun before. So we don't want that. We don't want to be in that three-dimensional body. We want to really manifest that solar structure of the fifth-dimensional body. So we really have to hold ourselves to this um, new manifesting energy and the new way of thinking. New way of thinking, right? So I want to share with you something that I do that I have found last year and that really spoke to me. It's called uh, Living According to Six Heart Virtue, which come from the Wink Makers. I'm gonna post the website below. It's the winkmakers.org. And so, I last year have made this little poster that I put on my refrigerator because my children don't always want to hear, you know, everything. Um, but if it's on the refrigerator where everybody's getting the food, you know, they read it once in a while and more I practice it and talk about it and they read it, it kind of wraps on them a little bit. So that's my little sneaky way to help my family to change. So the six hard virtue are understanding, forgiveness, appreciation, compassion, bravery, and humility. So let's look at them and let's see how we can apply them. So let's start with the understanding. The understanding is that everything is energy and that everything happens for a reason. So when the things are happening, even the bad things or all things happening in your life, you know, the new way of the action and reaction is stop being a victim. Stop, you know, going into this like, oh my God, the things happened to me or stop being angry about it. Just say, you know, everything happens for good. Everything happens for reason. I may not see what is the reason yet. And yes, you can say like, Eva, you have no idea what happened to me. And uh, it's unspeakable, you know, of this and that. I do know what happened to you, I understand, because so many things have happened to me for the reason that I can understand to you. And if every single thing that happened to me until now did not happen to me, I won't be sitting here in my backyard and talking to you, sharing my experience with you. Now, once I realize it, it doesn't mean that I have to go through this a rolling roller coaster until the rest of my life I can change it but all what happened brought me into the moment of now so I can understand that everything happens for a reason and that bring me into the next virtue which is the forgiveness 
replace victimhood or annoyance with understanding and compassion. So whenever you want to feel victimized, again, to different action and reaction, then you say, you know what? I forgive myself for doing this and that. Or I forgive these people doing this to me and I so much on. It doesn't mean that you're giving up. You're just surrendering. You stop fighting what you perhaps cannot win or is it even worth to fight it? The one who feels bad is often you or me, right? That's what it is. So whenever you start feeling, you know, that the things are happening to me and oh my God, and again, in the chaos, the things are going to happening around you, to you, to your family, to your friends, to, 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 to your closest people around you. And then you says, all right, there must be a reason. Let me understand what is the reason. Perhaps I may not see it today, but if I'm going to put it out there, I start, you know, having a better understanding and better outlook on that situation. That brings us to compassion. You know, if I understand and I am willing to forgive, to willing is a very important word because we have to be willing to feel that forgiveness, to really mean it from our heart. Then we come to compassion and um, compassion, you know, according to Wingmakers, the little saying is, we are part of one another's destiny. It's rather exciting, isn't it? Imagine that it's not that we, you know, create everything, but it's suddenly we started to look at the life, at the people that you meet that enter your life, that are part of your destiny. It gets really, really exciting because we always want to do it our way, right? We have a plan and we have a journey and we have a goals and there's these things that we want to achieve. And maybe we miss this part, this part of compassion toward ourselves and toward the people around us and really see, you know, how we are part of each other's destiny. Can I just let it beautifully unfold instead of be afraid of welcoming people in my life? and seeing what is there in their destiny, what is there to unfold for me and for them. And that brings me to another virtue, to appreciation, the small gestures of gratitude and act of kindness. I love this one. When I started to do what I do, I um, very much embraced the um, meaning of the paying it forward. That was one very important thing that um, I, I started for myself and for everybody out there because I says, you know, if anybody's there, they're feeling like me, let's pay it forward, let's, let's help them and they can do whatever they want with it and they can pay it eventually forward uh, to anybody else. So, appreciation for what you do, for your journey, and uh, small gestures of the gratitude and kindness go such a long way. Again, just uh, giving a smile to somebody at a, at a grocery store uh, can make somebody's day, or telling something nice and kind, or the encouraging, doing something wonderful. Um, it's not only that also it makes day, it also will come to you at least threefold. And even though, you know, your life may not be perfect, there may be a lot of struggles, but that river that comes back just warms your heart and uh, keeps your soul blossoming with love, or with happiness, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, as I sang lately, it will keep your soul blossoming with love and your ego mind consciousness giddy with happiness and that makes one happy body and a happy body is a healthy body and that brings us to bravery be brave what does it mean be brave it is the act of speaking the truth that is sometimes hard isn't it because the truth hurts sometimes it hurts to you it hurts the people around you how do you go about it you know you may say the truth with such anger within you, you know, it is true about this and this and that. 
and it is not perceived well. Um, I think the bravery is a beautiful act of communication when we learn to communicate. And God, that is hard, right? Because you may want to be a good communicator, but uh, let's say your partner is not a good communicator. Uh, the people in your family, in your life are not great communicators. How do you go about it? Do you just give up and hold the things within you because you feel like, okay, I can communicate, I can find a way to share, but they are just not willing um, to listen to it or to accept it or even listen that true. Never give up. Practice your speaking the truth from your heart, but do it with a, such a compassion, understanding, forgiveness, and the appreciation. And do it with humility as well. Humility is the the sixth virtue on my on my list. And you know they are not numbered like from the one to the six. You can pick which one is number one for you uh, each day. Humility is the soul's expression of unconditional love to your ego, mind, and the soul within the body. It is that unconditional love for your being, for your intellectuality, for your compassion, for your, for your appreciation, for the forgiveness, um, for the understanding, for being brave, really, you know, celebrating that beautiful, smart part inside of you. I think that's the self-love, the self-care and the self-appreciation. And when you start practicing it for yourself, it's very easy or much more easier to express it to all those around you. And again, you know, sometimes, I probably every single time, we have to start with ourselves. You says, well, that is really nice, but my family will never uh, embrace this. Well, my family is not perfect either. And that's why I make a little post sticks and I color them and I make them look funny. And sometimes I make fun out of it, bring the humor in it and put it in a visible place where, you know, they read it where they see it when you know something just to catch your attention and you just I read a bit and the pieces of it and I have seen it to work especially on my children so there's definitely hope but as I hope <laughs> there is a door there is a door to the field of infinite possibilities so Let's learn and embrace the new behavior, the new pattern. See, the fifth dimensional pattern doesn't click just like that. It needs a practice. By practicing what we are talking about, we are embodying new energy. We are literally teaching the cellular structure of our body to become that what we talk about anything that you learn in the spirituality from whichever whatever it is that you study or your religious belief honestly it doesn't matter what we call it or what it is the only way to really practice it means that it becomes your way of life it's not only that i will preach it to you here this is what i try to hold myself every single day i mean do i have a day when i just um have a bad day <laughs> yes i'm a human i do have a bad day but then i refocus myself and i hold myself to the six hard virtues because i tell myself eva what is it gonna do for you to be upset or angry or sad or depressed it's just time to get out of your bed, put your feet on the floor, feel the gratitude that you have this body and you can go on for another day and another day, another day. And to listen to cicadas, which I absolutely love and I think they love me too. <laughs> and just enjoy and appreciate your life. Remember, you are the pioneer of this energy. When you change, what around you change. And that is our goal. If we can shift our body in the beautiful fifth dimensional 
vibrational energy. You let that in, become a crystal that vibrate this uh, energies to everybody around you and you are changing the world. So one step at a time, just stabilize yourself in all the chaos, what is happening and really says, you know, uh, things happen for a reason. They are parts of each other's destiny. They replace our feeling of the victim with personal forgiveness. Um, they do a small gestures of the kindness and express our gratitude. They are brave, not only to speak the truth, but to leave our truth, right? If I'm, I have to be living what I am saying to literally make it true and loving ourselves, which means take care of ourselves, really to express that awe and the amazement and the gratitude. What a smart, amazing beings we are. And take care of yourself. You know, take care of the beautiful vessel that you have, spoil it a little bit, and express your love and gratitude to all around you. So I hope that you enjoy this, that you can embrace the six heart virtues, same as I do, and we continue on this journey. I see you in the two weeks. I love you. Love and light from my heart to yours.